The impact of the Hamas Israel war is being felt across the world. A look at those feeling the impact here in Indiana. A bittersweet win. The Colts won their first home game this season, but not without a cost. An update on quarterback Anthony Richardson live from the Colts complex. News 8 at 6 starts now. I recognize the legitimate grievances of the Palestinian people. But nothing can justify these acts of terror and the killing, maiming and adoption of civilians. I reiterate my call to immediately cease these attacks and release all hostages. Israel's military says it has retaken control of all communities around Gaza. This comes more than 48 hours after Hamas launched a surprise assault on Israel, leading Israel to declare war. Officials say the death toll is nearing 1,500, including at least 700 in Israel and more than 650 in the Palestinian territories. The prime minister of Israel says the war was forced upon by the country by a horrendous enemy and vowed that Israel would win. He says that Israel has only started a fierce offensive in the Gaza Strip in response to the unprecedented attack. News 8 government reporter Garrett Berquist joins us now as Indiana lawmakers are condemning the attacks. Garrett, what is our congressional delegation saying now? Brittany, there's not much partisanship here. Officials from all across the political spectrum are calling for an end to the violence. Congressman Larry Bouchon says the attacks in Israel are a clear-cut case of terrorism. The international community, other than the Iranians, will be mostly standing with uh, the Israelis on this. And I think, you know, the images are absolutely awful. You know, they're, you can tell it's terrorism because they don't follow any uh, sort of uh, international rules, if there is such a thing, as it relates to combat. Uh, they're killing men, women, children, civilians. U.S. officials so far have confirmed 11 Americans killed and an unknown number missing. Bouchon says he doesn't have any additional information about those Americans other than what's been shared publicly. The U.S. helps fund Israel's Iron Dome missile defense system. Bouchon says he's toured Iron Dome stations near Gaza. We'll have to look and see what the Israelis might need. And uh, I would see that, see that there would be uh, some uh, conversation in the Congress about whether or not there needs to be supplemental help. Israeli forces have now laid siege to Gaza. Bouchon says that could push more Palestinians to join Hamas, though he adds the Israelis have to defeat Hamas somehow. Democrats also are weighing in. Congressman Andre Carson says... This latest escalation of violence painfully demonstrates the urgent need for just and lasting peace. To achieve this, the U.S. must rededicate ourselves and our resources to a real two-state solution and call for the end of Israel's unfair two-tiered rule over the Palestinian people. State Senator Fadi Kadora, who was born and raised in Palestine, says, I condemn violence and the loss of innocent lives on both the Palestinian and Israeli side and pray for immediate ceasefire, peace, and healing. As a Hoosier with family members currently living in Palestine, I understand the pain and anxiety that many Palestinian and Israeli Hoosiers are feeling. This afternoon, Governor Eric Holcomb ordered all flags in Indiana to be flown at half-staff through Sunday. This is in remembrance of the lives lost in Israel. I'm Garrett Bergquist for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and like us on Facebook. And the impact of the Hamas-Israel war can be felt in places around the world like Indiana. News 8's Camila Fernandez spoke with members of our Muslim and Jewish communities and has more on how families are trying to get help abroad. There's not a single Jewish person in this city that doesn't have either relatives, friends, or someone that they know that lives in Israel. So this is very personal to us. For the Indianapolis Jewish community, the attacks on Israel are nothing short of horrific. They say hundreds of people have been killed and many more are injured. Also in Kibbutzim, which are collective farms, and they've been taking people hostage. Uh, other than that, most people are able to communicate. But if you haven't heard from a, lo a loved one or someone you know, chances are that's not a good sign. Helen Goldstein is the president of the board of directors for the Jewish Federation of Indianapolis. She says it's important that people show solidarity for Israel in this time of crisis. We have um, good relations with the Muslim community here. 
However, this time, the solidarity is with the state of Israel and with our people. As we all know, for those of us who experienced 9-11, when something tragic happens, people want to gather. We need to believe in the sacredness of human life, um, regardless of what party uh, loses. And uh, I, in this conflict, there is no winner. In the Muslim community, there are concerns about the innocent civilians suffering in the attacks. Well, uh, probably uh, humanity, humanitarian aid is the most important thing. Uh, there is complete shutdown on Gaza, where uh, there is no access uh, to provide these humanitarian needs. Um, civilians who do not have anything to do with this war. They say there needs to be more awareness on the situation in Gaza that has seen a humanitarian crisis. Most of the time, we address the issues from one side, and it's very important for us to highlight the struggle that um, uh, people are going through in Gaza for the last decades. If you want to support Israel during the war, uh, we have links from the Indianapolis Jewish community on our website. All you have to do is scan the QR code on your screen. It'll take you right to the As Seen section of our website, wishtv.com. I'm Camilla Fernandez for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and like us on Facebook.